Hi there, this is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, your hosting platform of choice. I'm here to show you how to use cPanel to manage MySQL databases and database users. You can use databases for a wide variety of web applications, such as WordPress or forums software. Let's go ahead and log in. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. Let's start by creating a new database with the MySQL database wizard. Click MySQL database wizard. The wizard appears. First, let's name the database. The database may include a prefix with your username and an underscore. This depends on how your system administrator has configured your server. This server uses database prefixes. I'll go ahead and enter database1. Click Next Step to proceed. Then we'll create a user for the database. Once again, there may be a database prefix in the username. Enter the username in the text box. Then we'll enter the password and confirm it. The strength bar indicates the relative strength of your password. You can use the password generator to generate a secure password. Click Create User to proceed to the next step. A new interface will appear with a list of privileges to grant to the user on the database. You can select individual privileges or click All Privileges to grant them all. Click Next Step to proceed. A confirmation message will appear. There's a list of options here. We can add another database or work with this database. Let's click Return to MySQL Databases. The MySQL Databases interface will appear. From here, you can create a database, check a database, repair a database, manage the databases on the account, add MySQL database users, add those users to a database, and manage database users on the account. We've already created a database with the wizard, so we don't need to review the Create a Database option. The Check Database option checks a database for errors. Select a database out of the list, click the Check Database button, and a status window will appear. Oh good, no errors. Let's go ahead and click Go Back. Repair Database tries to repair errors and corruption on a database. Select the database out of the list, click the Repair Databases button, and the repair is complete. Let's click Go Back. The current databases table contains all of the MySQL databases on your account. Oh, look, there's that database one database we created in the wizard. You can rename and delete databases with the icons in the current databases table. And you can revoke user privileges on a database. If you plan to rename a database, you should back it up first because there are risks to renaming MySQL databases. Click the link in the warning message to go to the backups interface. For more information about backing up an account, watch our video on backups. I'll go ahead and rename this database and click Proceed. It may take a while to run on your system, depending on the size of the database. And the interface will reload. To delete a database, click the appropriate Delete button. Then confirm that you wish to delete the database. Click Go Back to return to the MySQL Databases interface. Let's scroll down to the Current Users table. This lists all of the database users on your account. Oh, look, it's the database user we created in the wizard. You can change the database user's password, rename them, or delete them. You can also create database users and grant privileges to a user. I'll go ahead and grant a user access to a database. Select the user from the menu, and then select the database. Then click the Add button. Then select the privileges that you wish to grant. You can select individual privileges or click All Privileges to grant them all. Click Make Changes and a confirmation message will appear. Click Go Back 
to return to the MySQL database's interface. When we look at the current database's table, we'll see that the new user appears in the privileged users list for that database. To remove that user, click the garbage can icon, and then click Revoke User Privileges from Database. This does not delete the user. It just revokes their privileges. Let me show you how to delete that user. Click the appropriate delete link, and then click Delete User, and Bye Bye User. Let's click Go Back to return to the interface. If you want to work with the actual database tables, go back to the cPanel Home interface, scroll down to Databases, and click PHP My Admin. This will launch the PHP My Admin application. You can create tables, create variables, export and import data, and perform many other functions. To learn how to use this application, go to phpmyadmin.net. For more information on cPanel, go to cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.